Sherman out in Georgia, where unfortunately we've been learning that a tornado went through and injured 10 people at a naval base. Hello, Robert. How are you? Hey there, Regina. This is something that we always talk about with hurricanes. It's not just the main storm itself that can cause damage, but these hurricanes are known to spawn tornadoes off of them as well. And that is what uh, it is anticipated happened here uh, in St. James, Georgia. Uh, so we're just over the Florida border. For those of you who don't know, probably about 20 minutes north of Jacksonville over at the Kings Bay Naval Base. And the area that was impacted here on the Naval Base was an RV park, which was just right on the water. That They say but 10 people were injured. Non-life-threatening injuries is what they emphasize. A number of those people were taken to the hospital with those non-life-threatening injuries in order to receive treatment. Uh, we've now been escorted off of the Naval Base. We were able to get a close-up look at what was happening there. And the damage damage that you do see there quite significant to a number of these camper units flipped over on their side cars crushed by the weight of some of these RVs debris scattered all over the place that was what the scene looked like there on the ground uh, again the, the emphasis from uh, a lot of the officials here at the naval base is that this is still a dynamic scene they're working through it they will be committing resources in order to take care of this to clean up the damage and to try and help some of these families it is common to see a number of these RV uh, campgrounds on naval bases. You can see uh, residents there, sometimes their families, the military personnel, sometimes their retirees uh, just here for the time being. Um, but that was the area on the base that was impacted. They emphasized that no military equipment uh, was uh, damaged or anything of the like. You could see uh, a replica of a submarine sitting right behind me, what used to be a submarine that is now serving as a statue outside of the naval base. This base is known for its submarine technology, equipment, assembly. None of that was impacted. They say none of the day-to-day -day military functions uh, are going to be changing whatsoever. The focus now is just to help these residents through this difficult time and to clean up the area. Across the Florida line, though, over in Jacksonville, we do have uh, at least one confirmed fatality, again, from the storms that spun off from Elsa and wreaked havoc along the Atlantic coast. Remember, this hit the Gulf Coast, but did cause damage here in the northeastern part of the state of Florida, southeastern Georgia. So that's what officials are working through today uh, as the storm continues to make its way north through the Atlantic region. Regina. Robert, have you gotten any word as to how at all the base there in Georgia was preparing for Elsa? Uh, they they did not uh, specifically say as to you know what they uh, were were doing in uh, in the lead up towards Elsa. They did emphasize that. Uh, this is not new territory for them. They said that this is the second major storm that has blown through this naval base in the last two and a half years. So they have done with, uh, dealt with this in the past. And they, it, it is uh, something that does come with the territory of this region, tornadoes and uh, large storms and gales coming through this area. So uh, they are anticipating.